Okay, so I got a package, a first item for the new M1 Mac Mini. I tried to order it from OWC directly, but there was an issue, so I got it from Alternate. It's a German computer equipment supply shop thingy. A rather plain box, but there we go. That's the little three-port Thunderbolt 4 hub. But let's see what's in the box as well. So this is the Thunderbolt 4 cable or USB 4. It's basically the same kinda. So yeah, this is Thunderbolt 4. And it's quite long for standard cable that comes with the unit, so quite okay. So this is the power prick. It's about 110 watts, I think, so sufficient enough to power your notebook, your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. But quite big. And we have the standard cable here for Europe, Germany. Okay, here is the main unit, the little hub. Yeah, so you have the input on the front or back, whatever. And then you have a USB 3 port as well, even though it's a 10 gig version. Here you have the power connector, of course, and then you have three Thunderbolt 4 ports. So you connect the power here, and then you connect the cable to your Mac or Windows PC as well that supports USB-C 4 and Thunderbolt 4. So it actually works with the older Mac as well, as long as you use Big Shore, so Mac OS 11. So here we go, we have this SSD and I also tried with the Samsung. So I have two SSDs connected and this is directly connected to the Mac Mini, the old one, the 2018 version running macOS 11 and let's have a speed test. Yeah, so I get good speeds, basically the same as before, even though oddly a big spike on the PNY Pro. So uh, a peak around 700 megabytes per second, but in the main time average is 460. The read speed is around 860. So quite fast, quite okay. I did get those speeds on other connections as well. It's a little bit faster, I'd say. And the Samsung T5 is the same, a little bit faster than usual, 480 and uh, right and 521, 520 uh, read. So it's it's good. It's the same, a little bit faster, I'd say. So yeah, it works on all the machines as well, as long as you have the latest macOS. But um, yeah, the Mac Mini comes tomorrow, I think. And let's see how it works on the new machine. So can it? be sufficient enough to make uh, basically three out of one connection. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Will be about the Mac Mini M1. So subscribe if you want to see more Apple Silicon M1 content. Cheers.